Hey everybody, Paul Wooten here. I guess you've seen my other video where I had a huge box sitting on my front porch. This is what came in it. Close up look, about 10 of them. Um, Ray Screws um, shared a post on his Facebook page and on, um, on, a minute, on Instagram. And I wanted to give you give that guy credit to um, Diecast die Photo graphy um, his name is Tony Stutz S Z U T A anyway he I guess he sent a message to uh, race crews race goose posted it um, I went on to real quick and order mine of course before I sent it out to all my buddies say hey check this out a bunch of you guys have noticed that champion DHK has already uh, received his um, but to me, this is one of the best cases you got, especially if you like loose cars. Um, most of mine are labeled on the end. I think Race Cruise does the same thing. Um, but there is some drawbacks to these, not to turn you guys off, but these are like delicate. You almost have to treat these like, uh, China because they're not made out of Tupperware. That's two shout outs to some companies, but, um, yeah, they're real nice. These here have the two hinges. This usually wears out. They don't like to, after a while, I have to have Velcro around some of mine or I wrap a big rubber band around it. But I want to show you the kind of reasons why they took them off the shelves at Walmart. They went from $4.99 to $5.99, $6.99, and I think they ended up at $7.99, and then they just disappeared. And I asked the people in the toys or toys section, they says, well, they had some incidents, and they no longer can advertise them as car carriers. And I said, well, I probably know why. Well, here's one of them. This handle right here. Um, I was doing a show last two weeks ago. Dropped one of them fell out of my um, cart. Broke my handle. Leaves that sharp edge. Um, not good. This one here is one of the older, older ones. You see hinge one, two, three. So the company Plano is who makes it. The the, uh, the number on this one's the same as on the brand new one. It's model five three one five. Says Plano Moding Company, Plano Illinois, made in the USA. And it's got all the recycling junk on there or whatever. And they get cloudy. Obviously, you rub them back and forth between your other cases. But that's just one drawback. And the other drawback is. Well, that's another no handle. They'll break on the edges if you drop them just a little bit. This side here is completely gone. Um, but I've had these for ever. I mean, some of these are 10 years old. So, I mean, even the plastic may even break down after a little while. But I still use this one for taking photographs. I'll put cars in there and take pictures. So I just lean it up against something and it's a good car holder. But... See, it's cracked there, too. That's where the hinge, the door busted right off. Not to deter you from buying these, because they're awesome. If I had more money, I would have bought 20 of them. Um, I had at one time, and I've told a couple guys that's already been over here, that I had bought a collection from a guy that had a bunch of loose cars. And it was close to, I, maybe it was a little more, maybe it was a little less. But I'm sticking at the number. 250 of those jammers. Um, were part of the collection that I bought way back, um, loose cars, and had so many of them, and they was already divided between each brand, M2, uh, Muscle Machines, Maisto stuff, Johnny Lightning, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, somebody came over and they said, hey, I like Johnny Lightning, boom, here's a case, I'll take all 48 cars, all right, $5 for the jammer also, and I just sold them off. And I reduced it down to probably, I probably still have about 50 maybe. That's about it. Well, I just, well 60 now. I just added 10 more. So, <laughs> But uh, I love them because they, uh, um, they fit in the shells that I got. It'll, it'll hold 10 across and two deep. So each shelf will carry 20. So they're real nice when people come over and they want to just Hey, you want to look at the Corvettes? Boom, they can look at both sides. I always say, hold both ends. You know, when you hand them one of these jammers, say, 
Anybody that's ever had one of these knows they grab it here and they grab it here. And they kind of twist their hand like this and grab it here, grab it here. They know because that door doesn't always hinge right and it may come off. Not downplaying them. I'll buy more, but I'm just giving you some of the dangers of, of these these cases. So, at uh, ten bucks, I mean, at, they're normally like fourteen, fifteen bucks, I think. Um, I put the link in the other thing. I think they got them on sale now, so I don't even know if you even need the code. But um, yippers, pretty good buy. I was happy. Now I need to clear out some room and I'm gonna probably rotate some of these. Uh, new ones and i'll put the stuff that i keep as part of my collection and i'll put the ones i carry to shows um put the old cars in there that way if i mess up one it's not a new one but uh thanks for watching and uh that's just a little update on part two of the uh um, we always call them jammers you know they're thread organizers well they're jammers 48 car diecast holders gotta go bye